Are you trying to figure out the secret to happiness? Well, here at What Makes You Happy with Jake Pearson, we want to make that happiness more accessible for you in your life. So stick around as we interview everyday people, inspirational leaders, and your favorite celebrities on what makes them happy. Welcome back to the podcast where we ask the question, what makes you happy? My name is Jake Pearson and today we have with us a podcaster and the founder of Recovery Playgrounds, Bobby Malatesta from Nagatuck, Connecticut, United States of America. Bobby, how are you? I am awesome, Jake. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited that you're awesome and just pumped to do this podcast to talk a little bit about what makes you happy. Would you start off with that for us? Of course. And I love this question, Jake, and it's funny. Reflecting on how to answer it to best serve your audience has been interesting. And I think the thing I want to share, two points. One, thank you for giving me the opportunity to reflect and think about all the things that do make me happy because we don't always pay attention to that, right? It's very easy to hang out in the not happy places. Um, And two, part of the recovery playground and my mission is to teach adults to play again. And to me, it's preventative medicine for addiction. If we let our inner child out, if we play in a bouncy house, if we go roller skating, if we do fun things, then we are less apt to do the not so fun things or the escapism through alcohol and and gambling and drugs and all the things. So that's how it ties in for me. Playing keeps me happy. I really love the phrase playing because I've recorded a podcast about 12 hours ago and somebody else mentioned the same phrase, playing. And it must have some significance tying into happiness, you know, going back and and doing the things that we loved as children, just engaging in things like you said there, jumping castle. I haven't done that in so long. I want to do that. I want to go and play on a jumping castle until I'm exhausted and just lay down. That sounds phenomenal. Yeah. So I don't have kids, so there's a little Mm -hmm. selfishness to this too. Mm -hmm. There's no place that you can go for these kind of activities where there's not children. It's usually about the parent's experience, right? And, Mm -hmm. And if a parent is there with a child at a bouncy house, it's about paying attention to the kid. Are they safe and blah, blah, blah. And they're not getting to really envelop and get the, you know, the technical stuff, the good chemicals, the happiness stuff that happens physiologically in our body. Uh, so that's why it's important to get us feeling good actively, which I imagine you appreciate coming from fitness. Yes. I've just had this great idea. Someone in the audience, one of you people need to create the business called the adult bounce house. So I just, I feel like that would be the funnest thing for adults no nobody under 18 just adults go in there let all their stress their anger out their frustration and just bounce around until they feel like they've got enough joy and then leave i feel like there is a market for that don't you think i absolutely agree in my research actually there's a company that has a traveling bounce house across the united states they go and they rent out farms and they'll set up for like a weekend or whatever and they give adults like one hour out of the whole weekend like there's adult hours um, so you're absolutely right. There's a market for that. Oh, that, that's got me pumped. That I'm, I'm, well, come I got to it. Just come over to the states. <laughs> yeah, 100. Well, percent Absolutely. So, would would you, that tie into what you would suggest for our audience to work on their happiness in terms of getting back to their roots and, and experiencing a bit of play in their life? A hundred percent. And one of the recovery communities I'm in, they have this rule 22, and it's like not taking yourself serious. So there's a playful approach to life too, not just activities. Like it's okay to trip and laugh at ourselves, right? Like, and just have this playful demeanor about ourselves instead of building all the stress because the stress comes from inside of us. So if we're playing, we're getting it out sometimes beforehand, sometimes during, but life's way more fun smiling and playing and being happy. I mean, the kids show us, right? If we watch children, they're, they're showing us what it was like before all that noise filled our heads. Oh, I can completely agree. Every time I see a video of a child, even just like with the dog and the dog and the child are just engaging and playing and the child's laughing and I'm like, oh, that is just pure. 
there is nothing going up in their head there's no stress there's no anxiety they're just in the moment just laughing and i feel like you would like what you've said just getting back to those moments of pure joy and experiencing that playfulness in life and it doesn't have to be very formal like we have to go and do this x activity but just trying to adopt that do you think into our everyday life how can we be a bit more playful in our day to day so here's one example that just popped in my head and i'm smiling just thinking about it let's say you're out for a walk with a friend what if mm. you skipped what if mm. instead of walking you just skipped like i could feel that just thinking about that in my body right like being silly there's a guy on uh social he calls himself the dad of jokes and he does the the corniest silliest jokes and it has to do with his delivery and his vernacular and it's like oh my god you know they're they're completely clean and innocent and just you could tell he's just having fun he's playing with language so it doesn't have to be complicated joy can come from the most basic and simplest things and and it's like an example using language the thing that we use in our very essence every day to communicate to create joy i love it i really this podcast has been incredibly fun bobby i i agree jake this is like i said i appreciate the the opportunity to reflect myself and then to share the message that i believe in no we really do appreciate you coming on the podcast to share what makes you happy and all things kind of your happiness and if you'd love to connect with Bobby, you can do so by clicking the podcast episode description below and heading over to the Instagram there as well. Really, really appreciative of your time. Any last words? Go play today. If you're listening, find a way to incorporate play in your day. It's free. And that many things are free, right? So play, mm. smile, and, and be well. Thank you, Bobby. Much appreciated. Have a lovely evening. Thanks for listening to the podcast. We hope it gives you something to think about on your quest to discover what makes you happy. Make sure to check out whatmakesyouhappypodcast.com to connect with today's guest and follow us on all our social media platforms and to stay up to date at what's happening next at What Makes You Happy. Don't forget to share this episode with a friend and we'll see you next time.